everyone. Today we're gonna to be building and installing these built-in shelves to finish this kitchen remodel. The shelves are gonna be fully adjustable and securing this thing to the wall might actually be a lot easier than you think. Let's get started. Here are the types of lumber we're gonna be working with. I'm gonna use all of these one by tens, two two by fours, and one one by four finger joint trim. These one by tens are for the shelves and side panels. And first I cut them down to the correct lengths with the circular saw using my crosscut jig. And this jig is calibrated to always cut a perfect right angle. I just line it up with my pencil mark and then press the jig into the board. And then here I have another jig, which I made just for this project for drilling adjustable shelf pin holes. It's just a piece of oak with evenly drilled holes, 32 millimeters apart and 37 millimeters in, which are the standard dimensions for shelving. And this jig allowed me to drill holes all the way up each side panel. And I'll demonstrate this more in detail in my next video. Then here at the router table, I set up a quarter inch router bit to cut out notches on each shelf and I clamped this little stop block onto the table fence to make sure I cut those notches at a consistent depth. And I had to turn each shelf around to notch out the opposite corner of each board and then put the fence on the other side of the bit to carve out the other two notches. Next, I built the frames for the shelf using two by fours. And then I ripped three quarters of an inch off of each piece of wood for the frame so that when a three quarter inch shelf was sitting on it later, it would sit flush with the three and a half inch trim I'm gonna use. And then I secured these together with pocket hole screws, which are gonna be covered up by the trim anyways. And then I secured the frames to the side panels. And because these screw holes will be covered up with trim later, I just drilled right into the side panels. It's gonna be a lot easier to do the base coats of paint now, so I went ahead and sanded down to 220 grit and added two coats of paint. But I skipped the parts of this shelf that would be covered by trim and just left that bare. Um, for reference, this paint is made by Bear, and the color is called Dark Navy. Now for any project like this, I'd like to use a four inch roller. That's gonna save you a lot of time and won't leave any brush marks. All right, here we are in the kitchen, and this is the space this little shelf has to squeeze into. You can see I've already removed the baseboard along the back wall to install the banquette, which you can witness in all its glory in my last video. But for now, I'm just gonna remove this last piece of the baseboard to make space for the shelf. And then I also had to trim the edge of the windowsill to make it flush with the edge of the banquette. And to do that, I used a Japanese pull saw. After I brought the shelf inside, I realized it wouldn't quite fit into the space when it was fully assembled. So I had to actually remove the left panel and then reattach it once I got it all back into place. Now 
This is a fairly narrow shelf and it's not gonna require much anchoring to secure it to the wall. I'm drilling three inch screws through the frame and into the wall studs, but I only put one screw in the base frame and one screw in the upper frame. I went ahead and attached a few shelves to make sure the side panels would hold their shape and then I checked the dimensions of the top shelf and the trim and cut them again to the exact length and then brought it all back inside and secured them into place with finish nails. To trim out a face frame for the side panels and the shelves, I ripped one more 1x10 into 1.5 inch pieces and then cut those to length on the miter saw. And I painted the tough to reach sides of these before bringing them inside and then secured them all in place with finish nails. Then I removed the shelves one last time to add the final touches of paint and once everything dried I put the shelves back into place. And that's it. I think this kitchen is finally done. Thanks for playing along and don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video or the dislike button if you didn't and also subscribe if you feel like it. Until next time.